Hi everyone! Welcome back to Dreamy Writer's Tarot. So for today's video, we're going to ask the spirit guides, um, what does your mom want to tell you? So this is actually a Mother's Day special, but of course you can um, view this video anytime. So this is still a timeless uh, video. Okay, so um, in front of us here, we have four piles for you to choose from. So we have pile 1, which is waterfall, pile 2, Milky Way, or perspective, waterfall is effortless. Pile 3, we have volcano or volatility. Pile 4 is island or solitude. So um, pick out the pile that calls out to you the most. It can be the energy of the deck or it can be the energy of the image. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry about my poppy. <laughs> um, the energy, anyway, the energy of the word, the image of the heart or the actual deck itself. Now, uh, once you've selected your pile, let's start with pile number one. Okay, hi, pile number one. If you've chosen this um, card, this reading is for you. So, we'll start some as for the guidance or, sorry, message from the guides card deck. And then later on, we'll go to the tarot to get into a more detailed message about uh, what your mom wants to tell you. So, for the first card, we have kindness counts. Okay, and then we also have as for guidance. Okay, so I feel like, you know, your mom would like to talk to you, um, you know, in a deeper level. So it could be that you guys communicate with your moms. But um, yes, there's a strong, I'm getting a strong message here that, you know, your mom um, either wants to open up to you or you, um, your mom wants you to open up to her. <laughs> okay, so um, there's a need or there's a request sorry about that so yeah um there is you know this desire for your mom for you guys to communicate better and then we have inspire others okay yes so um you know i'm also getting the message that your mom she wants to share what she knows her experiences you okay um she wants to be able to relate to you in a more personal level so um not just as her daughter or as her son but as a person you know um your mom wants to have a more intimate uh, bond between the two of you now this time let's go to the tarot get to get more message or information about um what your mother wants to tell you so we have here the eight of wands and then we also have Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, we have two um, Wands cards. So there's really a strong um, message for communication. Okay, we also have Eight of Pentacles in the first. We have the Justice card. And then we also have the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, so um, another message that I'm getting is um, your mom wants you to get out of your comfort zone okay i'm also seeing that she doesn't want you to settle to where you are so i'm getting the message that uh, for some of you uh your moms may be pushing you to um go to college or go study a different career path or probably go to a different path so uh, whatever it is the um, general thing or the shared thing between all of you guys who've picked pal number one is that um your mom wants you to venture out okay somewhere that is not or nowhere what you're doing she wants you to get out of your comfort zone okay so your mom sees a lot of potential in you i'm also getting the message that um she wants you to follow your passion so it could be that she can see that you're not happy with what you're doing right now and um of course as a mother um you know although i'm not a mom myself but um yeah she wants you to be happy with the career with the life with the uh, job or uh, with uh, whatever choices it is okay that you make okay so yeah she can see a lot of potential in you and um she feels that you know you're not bringing it out yourself okay she can feel that you know there's still so much more that you can give um, there's so much more that you can offer, but it's as if um, it's not coming out, you know. It's like 
um, right now, I'm hearing the words 50. So it could be that your mom is over 50. Um, it could also be that, you know, she feels like um, out of 100%, you're only giving out or showing your 50% potential. So uh, she wants you to grow more, okay? So she doesn't want you to settle for less, okay? And yeah, especially with the Four of Swords card in reverse so um she wants you to you know go for it whatever it is um that you want okay she wants you to know that oh yeah she will support you okay she will be there for you yes okay now um this time i'm going to get a few more cards so to um to check to see okay uh what else does your mom want to tell you so i'm um, actually getting a lot of message for you pal number one Okay, okay, fast. Okay, we have conjunction, empowerment, combines with enhances, combines with, sorry, enhances, strengthens, join forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, allies with, concentrates, saturates, overrides, overwhelms. Yes. So, um, you know, I also feel like, um, you know, she wants to be actively part in this new journey that she recommends you to or, you know, in this journey that you would like to be with. I can, um, you know, with this card coming in, I can feel that, you know, she wants to have an active um, role in your life. Not just as a mom, but, you know, as a partner, per se. That's very sweet, actually. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, let me get um one to two more of the astral card. Okay, file one's mom's message for her. Okay. And then we have um Charon. Healing. Okay, healing powers, growth, amends, release, personal development, personal development, okay, inherited issues, self doubt, general general channel generational sorry trauma shame sensitivity forgiveness superpowers divinity cleansing softness week so with this message i'm getting the um well one of the main message that i'm getting from this card is um you know whatever it is that would come your way you know your mom will be there to support you you know she'll do what she can she'll do her best to protect you to be there for you you know to guide you okay and um I'm also getting another message that uh, whatever it is that happened between the two of you in the past, okay, um, she actually wants to be sorry for it, okay? So, she, you know, there's also a message of forgiveness. So, um, you know, if there was something that she didn't do or you felt like um, she lacked as a mom. So, this is a message that, you know, your mom wants you to forgive her for that. Okay. Alright, and then um, we'll get one last message to see, okay, what else is, you know, a beautiful message from your mom, okay, so we have the fifth house, passion, passion, yeah, follow your passion, your mom really wants you to, you know, do a job or choose a life, a job, a partner that you're very passionate about, something that you really love. Okay, so just to read it, it says performance, entertainment, creativity, costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, disco ball. And I'm also getting the message that, you know, your mom wants you to be happy, okay? So um, she wants you to be completely, fully, 100% deeply happy with your life. Okay, and then one more message from the guides for your mom, from your mom. Okay. We have never judge another. Yeah, because she wants you to inspire instead. Okay, so yeah. Um, kindness counts. So I'm getting the message that for some of you, you know, um, you like to tease other people. <laughs> okay, but you know, maybe um, you know, don't have bad intentions about it. It's just that your mom may tend to be a little, um, you know, sensitive or traditional about it. <laughs> okay, so, you know, just be a little bit, you know, toning down on being savage probably <laughs> okay so yeah uh that's about it for me pal number one i hope you like this video 
and i'll see you on the next one so thank you guys so much for watching bye oops sorry <laughs> okay hi pile two so um if you've chosen this um card or this yeah this pile this one is for you okay so um we'll start with the message from the guides first and then i'll later on we'll go to the tarot card so for the first card we have let go of ego and then we also have take responsibility for your actions and then we also have calm is not a weakness okay so um first part of your mom's message for you is that um you know your mom actually wants you to be the best version of yourself okay so for some of you you might have also been attracted to pal number one so you know they also have um the same kind of message okay so you might want to check pal number one later but yeah um for you guys though um the strongest um message here is that you know your mom wants you to you know be the best um kind or be the best version of yourself okay so yeah so your mom um wants you to you know be accountable to be able to learn from your mistakes and um your mom also wants you to, you know, um, yeah, to become a responsible person. They want you to be, uh, to grow up as a responsible person. I'm also getting the uh, message that, you know, for some of you, you may not be physically with your moms. Okay, so I'm seeing that. But uh, if not, uh, please take what resonates. And uh, let's go to the tarot part of the reading. Okay, so for the first card, we have the Fool card. Next, we have the Chariot in reverse. And then we have the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups, but in reverse. Okay, so um, the next part of your mom's message for you is that, you know, she will always be there for you yeah so um yeah the first strong message that i um got initially from looking at the tarot cards is um she will always be there for you no matter what okay um we'll start with the full card so in here um the main message from your mom is um whatever it is sorry sorry um yeah whatever it is that you choose to do in your life okay whatever path you take sorry okay i'm okay <laughs> right so um whatever path you choose to take in your life okay whoever you are as a person um she'll be there for you okay so i'm getting the message that for some of you um you know you may be hiding something from your mom okay i'm saying that for some of you um you know you may be hiding your true sexuality or true gender preference okay so yeah I'm, I don't know that just came strongly for me okay so yeah especially with the full card you know just look at the woman in the picture so um your mom wants you to know that um whatever it is that you choose to be in your life you will be accepted by her you will be loved by her okay and yeah i'm also getting the message that um she's just waiting okay from confirmation from you and um now, in addition to that, with the chariot card, you know, beside the full card, I'm also getting the message that, you know, um, again, you're accepted whatever happens. And um, whatever bond that you have between the two of you, the love that you shared, the moments that you shared, um, her, her thoughts, sorry, her thoughts about you, you know, it won't change. It won't um, lessen um, the love that she feels for you as her child okay and yes again she will never go away she will never leave your side okay so you guys may be close with your mom i'm seeing that too yeah especially the two of ones again um just another strong indicator that you know um even from the start up until the end um you know she'll always be there for you in fact um i actually see no yeah i don't see any 
well, there's no such thing as an ending cards, but from there are no ending cards. It's more, um, you know, cardinal in nature, more starting. Yeah, being there for you. Um, she'll always be there for you from the start up until, uh, forever. <laughs> okay, seven of wands. Yes. Yeah, so. Two of wands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm getting the message that for you guys, okay, um, you know, you may be going through some tough times right now. Um, you know, you may be encountering some doubts or you may be going through some challenges, some social challenges. You know, um, I'm also getting the message of questioning. So you may be questioning yourself or other people may be questioning you, um, you know, maybe doubting you. So there's also a message of doubt here. So the message here with the Knight of Cups being in reverse is, um, you know, your mom wants you to know to not entertain these thoughts that you have. Okay, so uh, whatever negative okay, energy that you have in your mind, whether it's anxiety, you know, what other people think of you, the bad things that people say about you, that people think about you, their impressions about you. So um, with the Knight of Cups being in reverse, your mom wants you to know that you know you should um entertain these thoughts you know um don't take these negative things to heart just um let it go <laughs> okay um you know don't question yourself okay i'm also getting that message so yeah your mom um yeah your mom will be there for you okay no matter what so yeah yeah there is some conflict happening between well for you bell number two okay yes and this may be okay so for some of you okay again uh take only what resonates so for some of you um this may actually be a message from your mom as well as from the spirit guides okay so this time let's draw a few more cards so um this time let's ask the spirit guides what does your mom um you know want to happen for you like your mom's hopes and dreams for you Okay, so I'm gonna pull in, um, I'm thinking, oh, oh sorry, oh, okay, <laughs> a few cards, so we have Neptune, dreams, <laughs> okay, um, imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment confusion veils magic yeah so you guys may be going through some um tough times right now yeah especially with the self-sacrifice but again the message from your mom is you know um don't make a decision right now especially that your emotions are really high so again calm is not a weakness okay so just um take your time take a deep breath relax and then think things through really really hard Okay, so that's one. Then I'm gonna get a, um, two more cards for you. Pile number two. Okay, nope. Okay. So we have the Numinous Mystery. The Unknown. The Unknownable <laughs> ESP. Psychic Abilities. The Cosmos. Universal Truth. Oneness. Source. The Unamendable. Shadow Work. Inner Knowing. Tingling. Goes. Other World. Space. Enigmas the occult intuition so in here i'm getting the message that for some of you your moms may be religious okay um you know they may be they may have this very very strong faith into a particular religion so this is a message that you know your mom is calling out to you to trust the divine okay um trust a higher power Okay, in order for you to overcome this challenge that you're going through and for you to reach your dreams. And then I'm going to pull um, one last card for you, file number two. Okay. Okay. First house. Self. Physical body, outlook, self-image, philosophy. Excuse me. <laughs> Consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness. Arrival, expression, gateway, entry point. Okay, so your mom wants you to take care of yourself. So, um, in spite of you going through these things, again, uh, she wants you to know that she'll always be here for you. And 
um i'm also getting the message that she's kind of worried about you okay so if you're thinking of calling her or you know reaching out to her please do so okay um at least let her see that she's let her see that you know you're doing great you're doing okay at least okay that you're capable of handling this Alright, so that's it for us, pal number two. I hope this video was able to help or that you like it at least. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Hi, pal number three. If you chosen the Volcano card, this reading is for you. So uh, we're going to start with the few messages from the guides card to see uh, what are the first uh, few messages from your mom. Then we'll go with tarot and then another deck. So, for the first card, we have stay open-minded. Okay, and then we have you are here for a reason. Okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry about my puppy. It can be a little bit, um, you know, too much energetic. Anyway, um, sorry. Okay. So, um... Yeah, okay. First, uh, general message for you, pal number three. So, um, I'm seeing that, you know, and actually was looking at the tarot right now, and then let me present the tarot so, you know, the message would be clear. So, we have six of cups in reverse. We have the king of swords in reverse. Okay, the hangman. And then we also have the two of swords in reverse. And then we have the parents. Okay. So, um... Yeah, pal number three. I'm saying that for most of you, okay, um, you may not be in good terms with your mother right now, okay? So, um, it's either that or there has been a conflict happening between the two of you that you just swept under the rug, you know? You know that it's there, but you choose not to talk about it, okay? So, it just developed into this kind of, um, what's that word? I hate, no, not hate, like, um yeah like that sort sort of hatred okay that just um seem to grow over time okay rage yeah that's a word yeah so there's this um passive rage that's going on between the two of you that you seem to not um talk about okay so yeah um yeah right now or maybe you know little by little you may not be in good terms with her now the first two cards holds a very important message for you pal number three so um again it's either that you know this uh well your mom rather you know your mom may not be the showy type of person when it comes to affection she may not be affectionate she may not even be sweet but um there's a message here that you know you actually mean to her more than uh what you think you mean to her you know what I'm saying? Like, um, maybe she doesn't uh, let you feel how much she means to you. But, you know, deep down, in a way that um, you haven't felt or maybe you haven't experienced enough, um, you actually mean so much to her. Okay? Um, I'm getting the message that, you know, um, you're actually one of the reasons why. She wants to be kept alive, okay? So, I'm seeing that for you guys, pal number three, your mom is going through some sort of depression right now or maybe some very, very um tough, challenging times. So, these may be dark times for your mom, okay? Now, with the six of cups in her first and the king of swords, I'm seeing that your mom may have some issues with your dad between... Uh, her and your dad so it could be that um there had been some divorce so i'm see i'm seeing the word divorce strongly it's that or you know um your dad may have left you at an early age yeah so there had been some conflict between uh, you, your mom and your dad and this may be one of the reasons why um there has been some anguish going on between the two of you now um the next three cards are very important <laughs> okay so we have the hangman the two of swords and the temperance card okay so the hangman is very um significant in your uh, relationship together so you know this is this is a secret message that she may not 
be relying to you're telling you a lot you may not be feeling it but um your mom is asking you to give her more time okay so um you're yeah that's why we have the stay open-minded card here okay um your mom you know she wants you to um she wants you to give her a chance okay she wants you to you know um be more open-minded about the situation okay i'm getting that message so um again take what resonates and this could be a varying situation for each one of you but you know she's asking for uh, more understanding from your part so this may be something that's a bit difficult for you to comprehend because again um you know this is something that's very specific to her and yeah uh, with the two of swords in reverse this may even be something that you don't agree with in her okay i'm seeing the message that um you know for most of the time um you put the blame on her okay so there's this message of blame putting between the two of you okay and then we have your temperance card which is a good message okay especially for well you know for this kind of uh, wounded relationship so again we have the hangman and then we have the temperance card so your mom is actually asking you to give her a time and she's asking for a chance you know to work it out okay so again you may not see it it may not even be clear <laughs> as to how in what way but um you know your mom wants you to know that she's doing her best in a way that she can so it's actually difficult for her as well you know um you guys may argue a lot okay you may not agree with a lot of things but uh she's trying to work it out okay it's as if she's trying to figure things out okay yes so you know um she's trying to un understand your where you're coming from at the same time uh she's also weighing in her feelings in the situation which is i can see very difficult for her so there's a lot of pain going on uh, with your mom okay um i feel like i need to draw one more uh, message for you spell number three okay so we have here take responsibility for your actions i'm getting the message that you know this is a reference to um what happened between her and your father okay and i'm also getting the message that she doesn't want you to do the same mistakes that she did okay so she wants you to do better she wants you to avoid those mistakes so there's a strong fear going on for her so she's really afraid for you okay she's really really worried and afraid about uh for you okay so she's afraid that you might you know end up doing the same mistakes that she did so i can see that for some um you may uh, find her strict or unreasonable but um again the message here is that she has her reasons for doing so oh okay a lot of messages for you pal number three we have b of service and then okay i'm gonna put her here and then we have journey within yes so she's on she's asking for your understanding okay so she's asking you to um look at the situation from her side from her eyes okay be of service yeah i'm getting the message that the service part is more on you know reaching out to her okay coming to her aid okay so again uh, you may not feel it she may not show it but um you hold a very very important um reason for her to be alive okay so i'm going to get um you know a few last few messages on um you know uh what could happen between the two of you the final outcome of your relationship with your mother okay okay so we have here mars action the sorry pulses courage force heat strength competition yeah you do argue a lot <laughs> uh workouts excitement thirst impatience anger leadership engine potency willpower motor sex drive okay 
And then we have Mercury, communication. Yes, words, thoughts, analysis, information, learning, trade ideas, smarts, reporting, awareness, vision, lens, palette, perception, curiosity, narrative, muse, and wonder. Okay, yes. So, you know, your mom wants you to talk in a way that you won't argue. Like, uh, she wants a calm um, kind of conversation. Okay, and then um, I'm going to one last card for you. Oh, okay. That jumped out. Oh, we have the 10th house. Reputation. Career. I'm um, sorry. Career responsibilities. Achievement. Competence. Fame. Not variety standing authority figure legacy purpose pinnacle the patriarchy empire okay main message here is that um your mom wants you to succeed in life okay as with all moms but uh in here you know i'm also getting the message that um regardless of how your relationship turns out whether you guys uh, become close you forgive each other or not um what your mom really really wants to happen is for you to have this um abundant wonderful comfortable life okay so that's one of her wishes okay one of her wishes for you especially okay so that's it for us spell number three i hope this video was able to help and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye Hi, pal number four. If you've chosen the island or solitude card, this reading is for you. Okay, so we'll start with the messages from the guides, then I'll lay out the tarot, then let's um, go ahead and read your mom's message for you. So we have practice moderation. Okay, we have learn from your mistakes. And then express your feelings. Okay. So I'm getting the message here at least for these uh three cards is that um you know there's a mental health issue um going on or happening between you and your mom so it's either your mom or you um but the main message here is that you know um your mom wants you to look after your mental health okay i'm getting that strong message and then um if not mental health it can be health in general but yeah i'm getting the stronger message for mental health and then for the tarot we have the eight of swords we have the queen of cups in reverse and then we have the seven of pentacles and then we have the nine of swords in reverse and then we have the nine of cups okay right so um oh okay yes yes so, uh, for the general message of the tarot, so for you, pal number four, um, your mom's, your mom is going through a process of healing. Okay, currently, um, yes, currently they're healing themselves, either from um anxiety, depression. So, um, you know, they're trying to recover. Okay, basically that's the main message here, and um, from time to time, they still feel trapped okay so i'm getting the energy that this is a fresh event okay so something recently happened wherein um you know your mom feels um shock so this could be a very unexpected thing challenge that hit her you know without her knowing it without her seeing this coming and this really did affect her now with the queen of cups in her first um you know she doesn't feel like her best self right now so she doesn't um you know she's basically she feels like a mess inside okay um she feels like she's out of control of things or things are out of her control um even herself which is actually a very very terrible thing to feel you know um okay especially with the seven of pentacles and the nine of swords card you know going together so you know at times um she's having a really difficult time trusting people you know trusting other people and um i'm also getting the message that she feels like she's alone in this battle she feels like she can't trust anyone 
she feels like you know the world has turned against her or at least the people that she loves has turned against her so yes there's just um this strong intense feeling of loneliness for your mom okay this is heavy <laughs> Yeah, and you know, I'm also getting that, um, yes, it's really about, there's really a message about health here. So, she may also be having a difficult time to sleep, okay? Yes, so, um, okay, yeah, um, your mom, you know, your mom really wants you to, sorry, I mean, um, your mom just wants to feel better at this point. Okay, now, uh, with the Nine of Cups card here, um, I'm getting one of the song message here is that she wants you to be, you know, there for her. Okay, um, she wants you to be by your side. Okay, and of course, um, you know, she wants all of this to be over soon. And, yes, um, yeah, she wants to be reassured that you know at least you uh will be there by her side okay so she needs love right now yes that's also what i'm getting okay she wants to feel love right now that's why uh she's looking for you okay she's calling you if you notice um there's also for some of you she may be trying to get your attention and for some of you it may be annoying but um it's actually a call for help okay um yeah it's a call for help for you to you know take attention or give attention to her even just a little because um it's important at this point that she doesn't feel alone now um i'm going to get a few more cards to see um you know what could happen to your mom actually i'm going to get one card for you sorry it keeps on moving to see on um how you can help your mom okay hold on i didn't do this for the other piles okay yeah we have we have tree we have mountain strength we have wolf instinct okay and then we have lotus flower unfoldment yeah okay so wolf okay she does yeah she does feel alone right now but um you know i'm also getting the message that you know these things this anxiety depression that she's feeling um she may not be showing it to you in fact she may not even be telling you but um you know the message here is try to reach out to her okay um let her know that you know you'll be there for her if she needs someone to talk to um you know you're there to lend her some ears so just um show a lot of love and empathy for her right now now i'm going to pull in um some astro cards um to see um the last part of your mom's message for you okay Okay, so we have here Cancer, Dula. We have feeling sympathetic, comforting, comfort. Yeah, she wants your comfort. Um, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, nocturnal. Caring, moody, receptive, lunar, sentimental, introverted, defensive, family-oriented. Okay, and then we have um, Queen Cox, if I pronounce it correctly. We have complexity irritates <laughs> yeah so you know if she's being annoying by trying to do weird ways to catch her attention just let her be in fact um just give her attention even if she's not you know um doing some stuff okay we have irritate puzzles mystifies unfoldment okay complicates contradicts clashes misses the mark requires translation adjusts makes curious educates and forms so yeah, um, you know, I'm also getting that from the longest time. You know, she's been um the rock in your family. She's been there to help you out, to support you. 
So, the message here from the guides is, you know, um, be the one to, um, you know, make her feel that she's not alone in this battle. Okay, so this is um, one of the strongest messages from express your feelings. So, let her know that you love her, that you're there for her, and that, you know, she can rely on you. Okay? So, that's it for us. File number two, four. <laughs> File number four. I hope you like this message, this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!